see the outline so basically after the first assignment that you have done we are on the second assignment which is annotated bibliography is required but not graded okay for this particular assignment students we have information right over here this one and over here we will learn how to do it so there is no grade point for this assignment but as i said this is a required assignment and please note this assignment will become part of your next graded assignment your next graded assignment is controversy analysis paper and this assignment that you do will become eventually become part of that paper and there it will be graded as well right so the length of the assignment basically is 10 resources Uh, double space 12 point times new roman and apa format now many of you are not uh, some of you are not aware of apa format for them i would have uh, a lecture uh, and discussion on apa format in the next class all right so details for the assignment for each source you must include the following a bibliographic citation in apa format a bibliography citation in means the way you write the information of one particular resource now for example one particular resource that you want to write about is a book is a chapter in a book there is a lot of information about the book that you have to put in bibliographic citation for example who is the author who is the publisher what is the date of the publication what is the city of the publication what is the title of the book right now all these pieces of information have to be put in bibliographic citation in a particular order right with certain punctuation marks when you put all the pieces of information related to a particular resource in a particular order then we say that we have written the bibliographic citation according to a particular format now according to apa format there is a particular order that we have to give to all the pieces of information related to a particular citation in the next class i will explain to you how you will use apa format now you also have to write in the annotated bibliography after each citation you know you are writing 10 citations total 10 bibliographic citations in your annotated bibliography now for each citation you have to provide a summary of that particular resource a summary of each particular resource what is that resource about and then after that you have to explain why this resource is relevant to your research for example if you are working on the impacts of soft drinks on athletes if that is the topic of your paper and you find an article about the impacts of soft drinks on human health even if the article is not exactly about the impact of soft drinks on athletes still from the title you can see that the paper deals with the similar subject as you are working on right therefore you can explain in the annotation that this resource you can say that this resource or this particular title uh, this particular article is relevant for my research because this article also studies the impacts of soft drinks on human health right so you need to describe why that resource is relevant to your research additionally you should include these four points 
in the annotation first one about origin anything special we need to know we means the readers need to know about the origin of the source how credible is the source so you might like to say that this resource has been published by a so and so publisher therefore that this resource is a credible resource you might say that this particular publisher is a reliable or a credible or a well known publisher you might like to comment if the source is biased towards a particular point of view right so for example if you are working on the role of the united states in the afghan peace process okay if that is your topic and you listen to an interview by an american expert who is researching exactly on the same theme which is afghan america's role in afghanistan's peace process you might uh, notice that this particular expert even if that expert knows all the details about the issue yet the writer is a little or the author or the in interviewer uh, the, the the interviewee the person who is giving the interview to any particular channel and who is an american author is not ready to accept the uh, you know the obstacles which america is creating in the path of uh, the stability in afghanistan so he is not ready to accept that american forces in afghanistan have actually destabilized the country even more he is not ready to accept that right so you might notice that the expert is a little biased towards his own country's policies right if you notice that you can mention it in your annotation now depending upon the kind of resource depending upon the kind of topic you have this point and all other points as well they will vary from individual to individual each one of you will be writing a different kind of comment in this origin part okay and same will be case with the rest of the parts as well so purpose also mention that uh, why this particular resource is important for your research is it giving you uh, any particular information or is it giving you or helping you develop your argument or is it providing you some background information so that you can understand the topic better or is it helping you to draw some important conclusion right so what is the purpose this uh, particular resource uh, what is the purpose of that particular resource for your research and then value what specific information does the source contain that will help your case again what value that resource is going to add to your paper and then finally limitations what weaknesses are there within the source okay so you might feel that the source even if has been uh, produced by or written by a known author yet the publisher is not well known okay in that case you can point that out as the limitation of the resource you might also notice that that particular resource has been written by uh, a known author but this information just appears on his own blog that the author himself or herself manages so once again you can mention that limitation that even if uh, this resource appears to be a good resource yet the information it provides is not peer reviewed that means it has not been published by any particular publisher right 
so that could be again a limitation or weakness of that particular source all right so to conclude you will be writing your annotated bibliography of 10 resources using apa format for each resource you are supposed to write a bibliographic citation uh, according to apa and then after the citation you will write annotation in which you will provide a summary of the source and then you will explain the relevance of of that particular resource to your research you can you should comment on the origin of that particular resource whether it is credible or not credible or to what extent it is credible then mention the purpose of that particular resource how it is going to be important for your research and then what specific information in that particular article is valuable for your research okay so it could be a big resource of 15 to 20 pages but what is in this whole article which is going to be useful for your paper and then finally what are the weaknesses of that particular resource right so when you write uh, a paragraph or so after each citation right that means you will have 10 citation after each citation you will have one or so paragraphs of annotation as well right 